You know, I talked about doing this a while ago when I first got the green screen, but I never did anything with it up until now. So here we go. We're finally going to do what I said I was going to all those months ago. Whether you've been here since then or not, when I got this green screen behind me, I made a video basically announcing that I got a green screen and that it should open up a ton of avenues for my content. I finally have the ability to make the content that I have wanted to make since I started. I can make immersive rant videos. And since then, I have used it for the exact purpose that I stated I wasn't fully gonna use it for. <coughs> Now it won't be in every single video and it won't be in every single piece of content that I make. I had all the intentions of using it for rant-based content and I had all the intentions for doing so almost immediately. But as time kept going, I kept losing out on opportunities because of either my work schedule or just general laziness. A week or so ago, I streamed here on YouTube and I was called out for not utilizing my green screen for the purpose that I originally got it. Which brings us to this video, what I'm gonna dub the inaugural episode of the irritating thing. Or if you wanted to and have a little fun, did this one on purpose, tit for short. What better way to kick off this series than with my pet peeves of fellow motorists and things that cause me to have road rage on a daily basis. By no means am I a perfect driver. I have hit curbs, I have been pulled over, I get parking tickets, technically not driving, but still, it's a part of the car driving world. And even though there are more things that upset me about driving than I can count, I'm gonna stick to my three, my big three main pet peeves of fellow motorists. And it's gonna be staying in the left lane when you're not going fast on the highway, not utilizing your blinker causing me to wait longer at an intersection, and just general blinker misuse. Last but not least, the crown jewel in my crown of road rage, the fast, slow driver. So if a video like this seems to be up your alley, think about hitting that like button on this one and subscribe for the future rants that I will be giving on a copious amount of topics. But without further ado and further delay, let's get angry. Now I'm gonna tackle these from least to most anger-inducing episodes caused. Firstly, it's gonna be the blinker situation. Now, most of the stuff I'm talking about happens on my commute to and from work. And realistically, I don't deal with a lot of intersections because it's a long stretch of highway that I get to navigate on my way to and from work. But the minimal amounts of intersections that I do encounter, my God, people don't know how to properly use their fucking blinkers. It is not that hard. All you do is flick up or down. It takes less than half a second. You can do it preemptively and it alerts motorists that you are turning and not having to have them guess. I don't like guessing when I'm on the road. I like my drives to be easy, straightforward, even though there are turns on every fucking street and every road. But that's not what I'm talking about when I say straightforward. Coming in second place, but very, very close behind first place, is going to be the hanging out in the left lane cars. Now, this one pisses me off damn near the most, but it is the one that I am most prone to doing. And that's just because sometimes I get into a comfortable stare, staring straight out my windshield, driving on home. It's nice scenery and a sunny day here in Wisconsin. So I just like to look. And sometimes I look and then to my right, I see somebody just blazing past me. Either that or I'm already speeding and this person seems to have a death wish and just speeds past me going triple digits on my right side happens to the best of us. So if those instances happen, those aren't the ones I'm pissed off about. The ones I'm upset about, the ones that piss me off and really razz my berries is when there's a car going 70, yes, the speed limit is 70, I understand that, but they are hanging out in the left lane and there is no car for a country goddamn mile. Get over! The left lane is for passing. The left lane is not a lollygag joyride section. No, get over! Worst of all are the ones where that is the case, they are going the speed limit or bare minimum what they need to to legally be on the highway. 
they stick in the left lane, a car passes them on the right, and I have a good three minutes before I get up there, but because I got some fucking peepers on me up here, you know, I'm just looking off into the distance, I see the car pass them on the right, and I'm coming up, and it takes me that little bit of time, but once I get there, they're still in the left lane! Move over! I am tired of my, as I have previously stated, easy, straightforward drives home being cock-blocked by some Enid, Gretchen, or Ethel old lady that's chilling out in the left lane. Now, it's not only old ladies that do that, but it seems that the elderly people of this country continue to do that. And they, that is their sole purpose, is to slow me down in the left lane on highways. So for the love of God, next time you find yourself in the left lane, take a good look around, take a good look inward, and move over. And here we are at the top of the podium. In first place, it's the fast, slow driver. Now, I don't want to sit here and infer anything about those fast, slow drivers. But if you are a fast, slow driver, you are fucking stupid. There is a thing in every car that is made today, that is on the market today, and that thing is called cruise control. It literally is one press of a goddamn button. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. You don't have to figure out the equation of your velocity to figure out when you need to set it. You can just set it at any speed you want. And I understand there are cars on the road that do not have cruise control, for they are older models and they are older in the grand scheme of the automobile. I get that. If you're gonna drive an old car, you better have surgical precision with your goddamn feet, because you better maintain that speed, because I'm tired of seeing these people ping between 70, 80, 40, 50, 40, 60. Sometimes the ranges are astronomical. About a month ago, I was on my way to work, and I was driving on the same stretch of road I have driven for damn near two years at this point. And this day sticks out in my mind as the only day it has ever been this bad. I was following a car, and this car was going from between 65 to 90 miles an hour. Let me state that again. 65 to 90 miles an hour. The road I drive is 70 mile an hour speed limit. They weren't driving an old car. No, they were driving like a fucking 2013 Highland. Which, there's no issue with the type of car that's driven. I, I just say that for the fact that this is a car that has cruise control for sure. And I followed them for a solid 10 miles going back and forth, back and forth. I passed them twice on the left. Then they decided I moved over to the right because they kept speeding up. Then they passed me twice. I passed them once on the right. And then they passed me again on the left because they still didn't move over and I was in the right. So I'm not going to move over to the left. Why the fuck would I do that? I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm getting too hung up on that. Anyways, I'm driving in the left lane. I'm, get, I'm passing them. They're in the right lane, and we are coming up on a semi. Now, they decide to speed up, cut me off, and get past the semi. Oh, past the semi, did I say? I lied. My bad. My apologies. They decided to maintain with the semi so that I was next to it, couldn't move to the right because the semi is over there, couldn't move to the left. That's not road anymore. And they're in front of me just holding their speed now for five more miles. They have no intention of passing this semi at this moment, so I'm just stuck there. Yeah, I get a little angry. I'm doing my hand gestures like, hey, what the fuck are we doing? While also yelling and saying less than kind things to the absolute nobody in my car besides myself. So at times, yes, I was riding their ass. That's another thing that kind of upsets me, but sometimes people deserve it. So riding their ass was I. And at a point, they decided they didn't like that enough to where they Brake check me. Not cool. I don't care how much someone's riding your ass. Brake checking someone is one of the dumbest moves you can do because you're gonna, if you get into an accident, you're both still at fault. Anyways, they brake check me. No accident occurred. So I slowed down a little bit, but I still stayed on them because I would like to get past this semi. I'd like to make it to work on time. Well, after that five mile stretch was up, they sped past the semi, they moved over, and they took an off ramp. While going up this off-ramp though, because I looked at them and I did the things that my dad does every time. I just gave them a nice thumbs up. While giving them the thumbs up though, I was looking at them and the entire way up the off-ramp, they decided to flip me the bird. The entire way, the entire way. 
the fucking audacity of this individual. If you do not have enough self-awareness to know that you are a shitty driver or just did something very shitty in the terms of motor etiquette, and you have the audacity to flip me off, you are a piece of shit. My back is itchy. I am sweating. I'm getting more angry now about this than I was in the moment. This is unfortunate. This is upsetting. And this is a new precedent of anger. But yeah, that happened like a month ago. And it still sticks with me. And it still pisses me off. Because every time I get behind a fast slow driver, or every time I see someone not use their blinker or stick in the left lane, it takes me back to all the moments of times where people wronged me on the road as a fellow motorist. Again, I am not perfect. Sometimes I do do these things, but I want it to be known. And if you take away nothing else from this video, take away this. If you do any of these acts on a consistent basis, I don't want to be your friend and never talk to me or my son ever again. Just